So today is Prime Day, which I mean, generally, who cares? Prime Day, whatever. But the folks over at Drop, who I've been working with for many, many years, have told me about some stuff that they've got on sale today, which are incredibly well priced uh, to begin with. But today, that it just kind of goes even further. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the studio here and see what we can find on the Drops website for, uh, for a better deal than you're gonna find just about anywhere else. This is not a sponsored video other than I get a little bit of an affiliate kickback when people buy from my links. I'm not trying to sell you something per se. What I am trying to do is turn you on to some of the best values in audio gear that are out there. Let's talk for a minute about what being an audiophile is. Audiophile, it's not exactly just about listening to music on the highest quality gear possible. Audiophile is also kind of like a hobby. It's kind of like a lifestyle. It is about the gear and talking about the gear and knowing about the gear. And it's kind of like cork sniffing. It's kind of like being a wine connoisseur. I mean, any kind of wine gets you drunk, but only a certain kind of person talks about wine like it's religion, right? So the same thing happens with music and audiophiles. You can listen to music and enjoy it on any, on anything right? The music itself is going to bring across what is great about the music and hit you in the chest. On this channel, I want to recommend to you things that I guarantee are going to sound great, but are kind of outside of the whole audiophile gear chasing cork sniffing uh, realm. This gear right here is for the people who want to save some money on gear while they get to listen to their music in the best possible quality and uh, and not really get into the cork sniffing aspect of what audiophiles do. Drop is one of my favorite places. Uh, it used to be Mass Drop, but now it's Drop. And they make some of my favorite headphones. They make uh, less expensive versions of some of my favorite headphones. And today I'm going to talk to you about some of those. Here we are on the Drop website. And the first thing that we have is the Mass Drop Sennheiser HD 6XX headphones. Now, these are a version of the Sennheiser HD 650s. This right here is the Sennheiser HD 600. These are my favorite headphones of all time. I absolutely love them and can't get enough of them. And here, the Mass Drop HD 6XXs are $220. I say that with a little bit of a laugh because the HD 650s that they're based on are $500. Now, how does Drop do this? They work with Sennheiser and they make a few cuts here and there. They, you know, maybe it's not as fancy or something like that, but they get to the price point that they need to get to. And these things are amazing. If you love music, this is what I would call a forever headphone. These things just, they can't, they can't be beaten. Okay, they can maybe be, uh, they can maybe, maybe you find something that sounds good in a different way, but the 6XXs, the 600s, the 650s, they are, in my estimation, below $500, the gold standard for audiophile headphones. So that's where I'm starting today. Next up on the list, though, I have the Hi Fi Man uh, Planar Magnetic HE4XX. Now, if you're not familiar with planar magnetic headphones, planar magnetic headphones are kind of, instead of a driver, like a speaker, they have uh, magnetic plates and there's vibrations and it's, it's really difficult to explain, but they sound fantastic. They are a little bit less sensitive than, than say the 600s or the 650s. The thing about planar magnetic headphones is they never sound like they're getting harsh. They never sound like they're blaring at you. Something about the way the planar magnetic drivers work, it just kind of, it, it, it gives it a very, not soft as in not distinct, but a very kind of comfortable sound. And when they're driven appropriately by an amp that can give them the, not, the amount of juice that they need, they sound really, really fantastic. I've been using my copy of the Drop HE4XXs to test out the new iFi DAX that I got in recently. Review coming soon on the channel. If you're not already subscribed, do please subscribe to that. At $160, this might be 
the best value in audiophile headphone that I can think of. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff out there, but these sound a whole lot better than $160 headphones from other brands. It has to do with the planar magnetic build. And as such, if you wanna get the best sounding headphones possible for a little bit of money, then I, I, I can't recommend these more highly. Up next, we have the Drop AAA-1 Linear Amplifier. Now, Drop and THX have worked together to put this thing out. It's been out for a while. I've heard so many great things. I know that I have one on the way to me right now to put it through its paces again for a review. $150 for something of this quality uh, is, is really a fantastic deal. This combination of DAC and amp with the HD6XX or the HE4XX, try and say that, <laughs> uh, would be an amazing combination for whatever sort of high quality listening you want to do. Now that could be, uh, it's, of course, Apple Music. We've been talking a lot about lossless with Apple Music, but also with Koba's and Tidal and their lossless offering, Amazon's lossless offerings, as well as Spotify's coming out with lossless audio at some point in the near future, although we don't know too much about that. So this is an opportunity to have a fantastic setup for $300 $400 when normally this kind of setup, if you got the HD 650s and, and, and this THX amp from another manufacturer, something comparable to this, you know, the, the 650s are $500. And then an amp of this quality would probably be $400 at minimum. Now I've got one more sort of bonus here. These are also on sale right now, but I, I wanted to point these out because uh, they are amazing. Let's check them out. This is the Focal Elex headphones. Normally $700 right now, $600. And then the big brother to the THX amp that we talked about before, the THX AAA 789 linear amplifier. Add this to your purchase and you're looking at $279 to get $20 off of the amp. This right here is the setup. If you have $1,000 to spend, you will not go wrong with this setup. The THX stuff, as I said before, sounds fantastic. The linear 789 sounds amazing. And these Focals, if you're not familiar with Focal, Focal is a French company. They do speakers, they do uh, studio monitors, but they also do just unbelievable headphones that are top of the line. A lot of times much more expensive than this. So. You know, if you can stretch your budget to get this the, and you want to get the most out of the audio that you're listening to, whether it be at your desk or otherwise, uh, then I really can't recommend checking out the Focal plus the THX 789 Linear because that is just probably the perfect combination for the highest quality audio. Are there things that are more expensive and better? Probably. But again, under $1,000, that setup right there would be perfect. Under $500, the two that I talked about before would be perfect. You'd be happy with either. Now, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. If you know of anything else that would be a good combination with these things, do, do suggest it down in the comments as well. Once again, thank you so much for being here. If this was your first time and you wanna come on back again for more reviews and listings of great headphones and other audio gear, then please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, bell notify yourself for all notifications so you know when the Painfully Honest Tech videos are coming out. I will do my best to never steer you wrong when it comes to quality audio gear. Thanks so much again for being here. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.